Let's talk about Schumann resonances, the Schumann frequencies, the background hum of our entire planet. These frequencies are on everyone's lips and very widespread. Some people combine them with fear, others with hope. So what are they? Where do they come from? These Schumann resonances are a set of spectrum peaks in the extremely low frequency portion of our planet's electromagnetic field spectrum. This phenomenon is named after the German physicist Winfried Otto Schumann, who predicted it in 1952. He realized that the electric currents created by lightning strikes would be able to naturally excite the cavity between our planet's surface and the ionosphere and create resonances. Just as a musical instrument, when it is touched, excited, has frequencies at which the waves within it vibrate, creating sounds, the electromagnetic waves traveling within the space between our planet's surface and the ionosphere would lead to this resonant vibration at specific sets of frequencies for the cavity itself. Schumann resonances occur because the space between the surface of the Earth and the conductive ionosphere acts as a closed, although variable-sized, waveguide. The limited dimensions of the Earth cause this waveguide to act as a resonant cavity for electromagnetic waves in the extremely low frequency band. Even though lightning strikes and electrical discharges only occur in sporadic bursts across the Earth, our planet is large enough that, cumulatively, these Schumann resonances are practically always being excited. At any given moment in time, there are approximately 2000 independent thunderstorms occurring on Earth. This means approximately 50 to 100 individual lightning strikes occur each second on our planet altogether. Although these lightning strikes generate electromagnetic waves of a wide variety of frequencies, it's only the electromagnetic waves that have the right sets of frequencies. Frequencies that fall into the broad peaks of the various Schumann resonances. They will combine, interfere and resonate within the electromagnetic cavity created by the boundary conditions set by our planet's surface from below and our ionosphere from above. Schumann resonances are the principal background in the part of the electromagnetic spectrum from 3 Hz through 60 Hz and appear as distinct peaks at extremely low frequencies. The fundamental mode is around 7.83 Hz. And there are second orders, third orders and so on, like overtones. These higher resonance modes are spaced at approximately 6.5 Hz intervals at 14.3, 20.8, 27.3 and 33.8 Hz. But the fundamental mode at 7.83 Hz is the strongest one. And this has really stimulated our creativity. Poetically, these resonant frequencies with 7.83 Hz as the lowest fundamental frequency are sometimes referred to as the hum of our Earth or even as the atmosphere's heartbeat. And there's both very good science and also very dubious unproven science that these resonances have been linked to. So, can we hear these frequencies? No, they are not made of sound. They are electromagnetic waves. And if they were a sound, we couldn't hear them either, because they are way below our hearing range. So, as they exist, there are many very speculative studies, many of which are peer-reviewed, but all of which are unproven, claiming that Schumann resonances can be biologically or geologically useful in quite unproven ways. People see an influence to our brain waves. They might have an influence, but everything has an influence to our brain waves. Our complete reality, especially our thinking, the way we perceive reality. So is there an influence on us? I would say we don't know. We are clueless. They might have an effect on us. But this is minuscule.
everything has an effect on us. Sunshine, rain, day, night, nice people, angry people, natural food, processed food, good water, polluted water. This list is endless. And I think we shouldn't overestimate this detail because there are much more equations in the big formula we call life that there is enough cure which comes from other good ingredients. We are compatible after all. So beware of claims pretending to use these Schumann resonances to affect your body or any biological system. These often evidence-free claims are wild, unsubstantiated and fail to align with modern understanding of how the physical world actually works. What a relief! And do you know what? I already prepared something for you. In another video, I will get some of these machines and analyze it with you so that you can see how to mislead people with ignorance, claims or confusion and of course make a good amount of money with it. You will like it. So I say thank you very much for watching. There's much more good stuff on my channel, more than 1100 videos and be prepared for the upcoming video where we analyze a machine that can or cannot create Schumann resonances.